The Battle of Sansepa was an amphibious landing, and subsequent operations around Sansepa, Dutch New Guinea on the Vogelkop Peninsula during World War II. Chapter 1 Naval Force Admiral William Fktiller's attack force was to have a D Day groupment comprising 11 destroyers, 5 APDs, 16 LCIs, 3 rocket LCIs, 8 LSDs, 4 PCs, and 1 ATF. A covering force, consisting of one heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and nine destroyers under the command of Admiral Russell Berkey, was to be available for support fire if needed. In preparation for Operation Typhoon, on 17 June 1944, S-47, under Lieutenant Lloyd V. Young, sailed from the Admiralty Islands for Waigao, with the mission to insert elements of the Alamo Scouts, Allied Intelligence Bureau agents, terrain experts of the 5th Air Force, and hydrographic survey men of the 7th Amphibious Force. The reconnaissance force landed near Sosepa Ma on 23 June where the party spent the week surveying the region. As a result of both this reconnaissance and aerial reconnaissance the assault landing was diverted to land 55 miles northeast of Sorong. Chapter 2 – Landing Force On 30 July 1944, Operation Typhoon landed at Sanspa, Ma, Middleburg Island and Amsterdam Island. In charge of the Operation Typhoon ground forces was Major General Franklin C. Sibbert, commanding general of the 6th Infantry Division. General Sibbert was to command an organization designated the Typhoon Task Force, which comprised the 6th Division, less the 20th Regimental Combat Team. Combat units for the D-Day echelon of the Typhoon Task Force were the 1st Infantry Regiment, the 1st Battalion, 63d Infantry Regiment, the 1st Field Artillery Battalion, the 6th Cavalry Reconnaissance Troop, a company of the 6th Engineers, and four anti-aircraft batteries. All of the landings ultimately proved to be unopposed and it was not until 16 August that elements of the Japanese 35th Division were able to reach the area of the landings. By the 31st of August the 1st 63rd Infantry had killed 155 Japanese and taken 42 prisoners. The American regiment lost only three men killed and four wounded. The 1st Infantry, on the west flank, killed 197 Japanese and captured 154, while losing only four men wounded itself. The 6th Cavalry Reconnaissance Troop, during its series of far-flung patrols, killed 42 Japanese and captured five others. Total battle casualties for the Typhoon Task Force from 30 July through 31 August were 14 killed, 35 wounded, and 9 injured. Japanese losses during the same period were estimated to be 385 killed and 215 captured. Eventually, the runway for fighter aircraft was built on Middleburg Island and for bombers near Ma to the northeast, although the control of Sosepa was vital for the security of the base to launch the campaign and remained an air warning radar station. Ships patrolled this area of the coastline throughout the month long campaign, keeping the Japanese at bay. Operation Globetrotter ended on 31 August and General Douglas MacArthur's last point of landing on the way back to the Philippines was at Sansepa. On 31 July, shore-to-shore landings from Cape Opmarai were carried out at Sansepa. The Japanese garrison at Manakwari was cut off and attempted to retreat to Sorong. Chapter 3 – Base Development Airfields were built at Ma, Middleburg Island, Cape Opmarai and a flying boat base at Amsterdam Island. A radar station was also set up at March Cape Opmarai Airfield is now a disused airfield.